Hello awesome wala guys in this video i will review about the book let's catch the rain and some activities we did which were illustrated in this book we also did make a rain scene in the jar science experiment there could be no better time to read this book let's catch the rain this book is from tulika publications and it's less than 70 bucks this could be your best investment if you're expecting rain soon this book um has remained my son's favorite for quite some time and that is one of the reasons i want to start my book review series with this book what i love about tulika books is it is so indianized and practical you know one could easily connect with the book and fall in love with this book again and again and again it's got like some 10 pages and each page has some pictures showing various fun ways to collect rain water When I was a kid we used to float paper boats in the rainwater and collect those water in our terrace sadly these days it's becoming a very rare sight so this is the book i was talking about let's catch the rain by vinod lal hira ishwar so this book has got a nice train over there which collects the rainwater and then they have the title here and this one is a tulika publications and they've got a funny illustration the umbrella and a bird so it goes like this the book says let's catch the rain and they go on to show how oh, sorry so how we could you know um catch the rain in buckets and bottles and in pools and schools Oh, look at that indian flag there in pots and pans we did this we did this one oh, we also did this one in helmets and homes unfortunately i don't have a helmet to catch the rain and in balloons and umbrellas in carts and boats in wells and coconut shells oh i love these coconut shells these are so brilliant so let's catch the rain wherever it falls so uh, pour some piping hot water into this uh, glass jar and you could cover it with a plate and put some ice cubes on it so what happens the, the cold plate causes some moisture uh, which starts the uh, condensation process inside the jar and forms uh, water droplets so the same thing happens in the real world warm air uh, from the land rises and meets the cold air in the sky and the water condenses and forms uh, water droplets that is the rain which falls on the ground i could actually see some droplets which are being formed but then it doesn't have any dramatic rain effect it's it's a very slow process <laughs> and i don't really have the patience to capture all this see there are water droplets yay pretty cool isn't it if you like what you have seen and heard and intend to buy this book for your kid then find the link in the description box below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for further book reviews and other snippets till then goodbye